Hey, today I got something for you that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna do my take on a bacon burger. Now, this isn't any ordinary burger. What I've got is pork burger patties. Now, these are come from Compart Duroc, and they're actually hamburgers. The Compart's coined the phrase hamburger because these are made out of 100% fresh Duroc pork hams. Um, that's what's great about them. When these burgers cook down a little bit, they're gonna be packed with moisture because the ratio of the fat to lean in those Duroc hams is just out of this world. Now, for the bacon part, you know, we're not using pork bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and use beef bacon. Now, this is a, a pretty cool product. Um, it's gonna be easily cooked in the oven. I'm gonna cook it on about 400 degrees till it gets nice and crispy. But we're gonna to top these grilled pork burger patties with this nice beef bacon gonna flip the script on an old-fashioned burger. To keep the seasoning simple on these burgers, I just use salt, pepper, and garlic. You know, I keep my AP seasoning around. I'll throw the recipe down in the description on here, but it's a real uh, easy mix of salt, pepper, and garlic. Real, real simple recipe, but it's just a good all-purpose general seasoning. We're just gonna hit these burgers with a little bit on each side. And when I'm doing burgers, I typically do the first side on the board and then I'll take them out to the grill and get them seasoned side down and do the top on the grill. It's less handling. Your burgers won't tear on you as easy. And if you are sitting out for a little bit on the counter, just stick these burgers back in the freezer just for a few minutes to firm them up. They'll be perfect when you get them out on the grill. Let me go out and get my grill uh, going. I'll show you how we're gonna cook these burgers and we're gonna assemble this thing and this bacon burger's gonna blow you away. So I'm cooking outside today on my Weber kettle. This is the 22 inch model. And man, I use this grill all the time. It's probably the most versatile grill I own. This is pretty much how I always start my coals. I use a Royal Oak charcoal and I use a charcoal chimney. This is simple. Two or three pieces of newspaper wadded up in the bottom. You get one of those long flame lighters and stick in there and get it fired up. You'll have coals in 20 minutes. And these coals are now ready. You can see how they've completely ashed over white. That lets you know that they're ready to cook. And this is just simple, just spreading them out on a thin layer on your bottom grate. These are ready to cook. Okay, I'm out here at the grill with my pork ham burgers. And I've just got it fired up, you know, with a good load of hot charcoal. Getting these right on the grill grate. I'll season this back side with just a touch more AP to give it a little flavor. Don't need a whole lot. Now all we need to do is set our timer. So we're looking at about two minutes um, and then a twist and then two minutes and a flip and then repeat that process. How easy is that? So let me get two minutes going here. As thin as these burgers are, it doesn't take that long. So we're cooking them to 165 degrees internal, but you'll be able to tell because they're gonna brown around the edges and it's gonna be uh, just perfect all the way through. But we got, you can see the, the fat that's incorporated with that lean ham. That's what's gonna make these burgers so moist and juicy and so much better than a regular hamburger. Because at two minute mark, I just wanna give them a twist. Same way we do with steaks. I just put those real pretty grill marks on there. These grill grates are doing all the work for you. And if you want to season a set of these, pork burgers are the way to do it. We need two more minutes and we start should start seeing, you can kind of see on this one, a little browning around the edges. That's what we're looking for. That's kind of the indicator, you know it's time to flip. All right, you can kind of see how we're starting to, to get brown around the edges, edges on these hamburger patties. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a flip and see what we did on that first side. Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. We're ready for another twist. All right, we're looking at about a total of eight minutes and these burgers are ready. We're gonna get them off here. Now we'll go inside and show you how we're going to plate it up, turn it into that bacon ham burger. Check it out. We're inside with this finished bacon ham burger, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble it. First thing you need to do is just get a good sesame seed bun, 
get you a good smear of mayo on top and bottom. Use whatever mayo you like. Then I'm gonna start with the pork, the ham burger. Then we're gonna go a little bit of that beef bacon. We got it extra crispy in that oven. Just two slices ought to do it. Now the toppings you can put on this, hey, however you like it. This is what I like. So I'm gonna do a little lettuce, a little green leaf lettuce. But then I'm gonna come in with some thin sliced red onion. It's really gonna bring a little sweetness, but onion pop to it. Little or less, how much ever onion you like. Then we're gonna come with some fresh homegrown tomato. You got to have that this time of year. And last but not least, just a couple slices of dill pickle on that top bun. Now that don't finish off a bacon, ham, burger. I don't know what does. Let me move these out of the way so you can see this beast. Who wouldn't be proud to try a burger like that? But now I got this other patty over here and you know I'm gonna have to try it because I wanna taste what this hamburger is like just off the grill. Wow, that's good. Now, unlike burger, it's super moist and you, I mean, you can just see this moisture that's in that meat. And we've cooked it to 165 degrees and it's still got a ton of fat left in it flavor. Now I've tried the burger by itself. Let's see what it's like all together. I don't know how to attack this thing, it's so big. <laughs> That's a burger right there. I ain't gotta say anything about that. You talk about doing a burger competition, get you some of that compart meat and try it yourself. That is an award-winning hamburger. I know why they call it a hamburger now, it's delicious. If you like what we're doing here on the How to Barbecue Right YouTube channel, please give us a subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Um, we got a good website where we send out a newsletter. We try to do it every couple weeks and some great information on there. As always, send us those comments and uh, requests. You know, we like to squeeze them in where we can, but thanks for checking it out. And I hope you try one of these hamburgers because I guarantee you, it's worth it.